Hello there Pisces, your Valentine's Day and that you have a great time celebrating with your loved ones, friends, significant others, etc. I also want to wish you all a happy birthday for those of you who are born on the, um, towards the tail end of February. So let's see what's in store for you. One of the things that I was sensing here is, um, I feel like for a lot of you, it's pretty much the end to drama, the end to dishonesty, the end to, um, dishonest communication and you're moving on to something that is better and you're you're actually not going to entertain people who are false who have ulterior motives or who have tried to deceive you in the past okay is what I'm sensing and it's it's wonderful one of the main focus I'm sensing here is getting your finances in order and um, you're starting to understand what having a strong foundation actually means okay I also feel that for a lot of you, there is going to be situations where you might not have the whole story, but you know that something's off, so you're just going to walk out and cut your losses because it's not worth it sticking around trying to dig for answers when it affects you on an emotion, in an emotional way. So I definitely feel that it's kind of like the end to deception and on to more f truthful, favorable communication, as well as, um, you know, um, alliances, like linkages with other people. So I'm going to actually pull out two more and then we'll go into your reading. I feel like for a lot of you too, um, it, it's, a, it's actually a very, very good year for you to Fit, like sift through the BS coming in from other people when it comes to communication. I feel like, okay, so let, let's just talk about this. Um, let's start with your card. We have the Queen of Cups here, and this is the energy that you're bringing onto the table, okay? So the Queen of Cups is somebody who is very uh, nurturing. She is um, she or he is incredibly nurturing. They are emotionally grounded, stable when it's in the reverse position. I do feel that this is somebody that is so overwhelmed by emotions that they don't think rationally. It's also a situation where, you know, they could express their emotions in a way where it's not um, welcoming or it's even in a situation where it's like emotionally irrational. So this is like feeling overwhelmed by your emotion and expressing them like a little bit too much and scaring other people around you or a situation where you can be very emotionally repressed, okay? So surrounding you here is I definitely feel whatever trauma situations that you've been dealing with where you feel that other people are being dishonest and you you have found out the truth and I feel that the truth wasn't something that you went digging for but it came to light possibly during the Mercury in retrograde and you feel like the situation really does you know it, it destroy your faith in people it basically ruined your trust in the other person it ruined that business association or that environment or that relationship and as a result you know you can't go back to it so you've decided to move on to bigger greener pastures so that's what's happening here because it's pretty much you know the end of a cycle yes it was devastating and you didn't get the outcome that you want I feel like for a lot of you this might be a deal like a work situation a work deal a contractual agreement when it comes to finances some type of a work situation that has gone awry and um, even though it did emotionally destabilize you, because it wasn't a love relationship, I feel that you're bouncing back, you know. So you have here the two wish cards on either side of you. One thing did not work out. Somebody was dishonest. But you're moving on to another wish situation, and that is going to pan out pretty well for you. So we're going from like a minor wish card to a major wish card. So I feel like you're bouncing back pretty quickly which leads me to believe that it's not, you know, most of most for most of you it might not be a romantic situation. So I definitely feel that things are going to be okay and especially by the last week of the month things will, you know, like I say the universe will always auto correct and things will straighten themselves out. And I feel that this is the month in which you're taking off those rose tinted glasses and you're starting to see people and situations and you know especially communication 
in its true light. So whatever the, I, I feel like for a lot of you, um, it's not that you are a water sign, so you're highly intuitive, okay? Male or female, I feel that you're highly intuitive. And you have this um, internal radar when it comes to like, it's like an internal lie detector. You know when someone is lying. And I feel that you, a lot of you know it, but you you have such a good, open, giving heart that you always give people the benefit of the doubt. And, um, you know, some people call it naivety, but I do feel that for Pisces, Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac. You understand that, you know, we are all humans and we are all trying to get by on this earthly plane. So you make a lot of concessions and you are very understanding when it comes to people and their flaws. And that's why you give people the benefit of the doubt. And I feel like this is the month in which, you know, you're not going to to allow that to happen anymore but instead of being angry over why would they lie to me and things like that you're just going to turn your back and just walk out so this is not a I'm, I'm not this is isn't like Pisces is not playing around anymore for this month I'm sensing it's kind of like okay it's done you know what it's about you move on so I feel like for a lot of you it might be business transactions where you're not emotionally invested because, you know, it's a purely um, mechanical and also detached nature of a business transaction. So that's why when a business dealing didn't work out for some reason, it didn't pan out either because somebody was not doing the research, either that or somebody was trying to hide some information. Um, I feel like it's lying by omission for a lot of the uh, for a lot of you and someone is. Uh, not doing their adequate research and they're communicating in a way where it's deceitful and as a result of it I feel that you're going to move forward I feel that one of the people that will be very essential to your month is going to be an air sign so air signs are Aquarius uh, Gemini and Libras I feel like for a lot of you it might be an Aquarius energy because of the star card as well but the Aquarius is showing up as a queen energy and queen of swords is somebody who is, who's been through it all and they have, you know, an internal compass too and they know when people are lying and they they don't really tolerate a lot of deception and a lot of um, misdeeds from other people. So they don't really give people second chances, okay? So this is the energy that is coming through either through another person who is going to help you be able to sniff out whoever it is that is, you know, whatever uh, dishonest communication that has come through, I feel that it is going to be sniffed out by an air sign. And this is somebody who's not very tolerant, okay? So if you in the past have been very, very forgiving and just very welcoming and you have never called somebody out on their behavior, I feel like this person might just do it for you, okay? So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and I do feel this is a person that is of great help to you. I feel that it could be a friend or a romantic interest, but I do feel as well that um, there's a very strong camaraderie, friend, uh, work associate vibe with this. I also feel that, you know, um, it's kind of like, it's almost like this person and you have a lot of, a, like, a great complementarity. I feel like you might be very similar in the way you look, but very different in the way you express yourself, in the way you think. So they, you have something that they're lacking, but they likewise have that, you know, really sharp intellectual, like, uh, critical thinking, reasoning skills that you're, you might be lacking, but I do feel there's a great sense of complementarity here. So, you know, even though they're both showing up as queens, I feel that it can be either gender. And for a lot of you, it might even be a relationship partner that, um, you know, somebody in your midst, okay? I definitely feel that whatever is happening here with the Ten of Swords, someone else is going to be able to help you move on. And you might, you know, like by the 10th of the, the month, you might be encountering this situation or you might have encountered in the past where you feel like, okay, I know where this is heading and then it hits by the, the 10th of the month and you're trying to pick up the pieces and you're trying to move on. I feel that there is going to be someone in your environment, possibly the air sign, that is going to 
provide you with the vehicle in which you can move on with your life. And, you know, it is going to take some time, but I feel by the end of the month, you're okay. You're going to pick yourselves up and you are going to uh, look at life more in a, in a realistic lens, through a realistic lens, but also you're not going to be as trusting as you were before. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, I feel that this is a, a this whole month encapsulates like that whole maturation process where our childhood naivety, our childhood innocence is gone. We are starting to see what people are actually capable of. And we are starting to also know that, you know, some people, it could just be talk and they don't really follow through with their actions. So this is the month in which I feel a lot of you are drawing back or taking back your power and you're telling or you're signaling to the people in your environment that, you know, all I've been hearing in the past is just a lot of talk. So I want you to prove it with some type of concrete actions. And I feel like that's what you're demanding from your environment, okay? This can be from significant relationship partners as well. I feel that if you make these demands, it will come out in your favor. But I do sense it's going to take some time, okay? For a lot of you, um, I feel like it's, you know, just, just putting your foot down and telling it as it is, that's what's going to really change the course of your life. And this is a very important month to do that. A lot of you as well, I feel that you, you might be considering some type of travel opportunities with a friend, a very close friend, but I feel a more of a friend vibe coming through here because of this energy. Um, it could be a situation where you are interested romantically in a friend, possibly an air sign, and you're trying to find ways to take it to the next level, or I feel like you're, you're being solicited by an air sign for uh, taking the relationship to the next level. This can be, you know, traveling together, spending a lot of time together, a lot of communication together, or this person is telling you, you know, do you want to be exclusive is what I'm sensing. And it seems like a very good person to have on your side, whatever the arrangement is. It's also something that is, I, I feel like they would make a very good relationship partner because I feel that their no-nonsense approach is a great complement to your um, more of the heart, softer energy. So I feel like it, it works out well, okay? Um, if you are contemplating any type of a travel situation, I do feel that possibly this month there is um, going to be some snags in the road when it comes to long-term travel. So leave it until March. I feel that by the March time frame, it is going to clear up because we are ending on a very, very good wish card. And I do feel this is a situation where you can heal completely, where you get to jumpstart your life in the right direction. And you're also getting like the spiritual guidance in order to make better, well-informed decisions. So if you are thinking about travel, you know, try to delay it in March around your birthday. I feel like, you know, for example, it, we are encountering the situation where it's the sun in the constellation of Aquarius. So there might be, you know, you might have an Aquarius friend and you both are planning some type of travel meetup situation. Um, and you're like, okay, I'll come see you because it's your birthday time. And then the other person is just like, okay, come see me. But there's travel delays. So instead, it might happen around your birthday, which is potentially the end of the month or, you know, starting in from the 1st to the 21st of March. So I definitely feel a lot of reunions, a lot of beautiful energies, but you know, try not to travel this month. I feel like a lot of delays coming through. I definitely feel as well, there's a lot of communication overseas, communications coming through from other people. And I also sense that, you know, what you see is not what you get. So you really want to be careful and screen out these messages. A lot of people might make plans with you and they don't follow through and you end up feeling, you know, just um, very empty handed and just it, it just leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. So you want to be very careful when it comes to people's feelings or, or communication, excuse me. I feel that there's a lot of talks when it comes to financial situation like, you know, financial investments, joint ventures. And at the last minute, people renege on their promises. So that is going to be a little bit annoying. Okay. Um, I do feel that 
people are a little bit self-serving this month, so you are going to have to protect yourself a little bit. Know who your friends are. Know that the ones that show through their actions are the people that you can count on, okay? So I feel that there is just um, a lot of, a lot of people are kind of like withdrawn into themselves and they're looking at this situation or they're looking at all business transactions, all social interactions in terms of, you know, what do I get from this? It's not about shining the light uh, to for the world to see. It's more about, you know, secrecy. It's more about um, retaining knowledge for themselves so that they can benefit from it in some way. So I feel like there's a lot of self-serving people around you. They are communicating in a way where they try to hide their motives, but I do feel that it shows, you know, dishonesty, ulterior motives, it's, um, it shows up. So I, I feel that for a lot of you, you have an innate, intuitive sense of the, this, these things. And um, it's best for you to protect yourself early on, okay? I feel like there's just a lot of self-serving people around you. I also feel that people reneging on their promises, when it, especially when it comes to relationship partners. Um, I do have here the two of wands in the reverse. So this is basically a relationship that, um, it, it's a relationship card. You know, alt don't... Um, don't go for it. Don't feel bad about hurting the other person's feelings because I feel like you're being, you're kind of like being cornered or pushed into something that you don't want to do. And the sooner you speak up for yourself, the happier you're going to be. And, you know, the, the more you stand your ground, as with everything in life, the more you stand your ground, the more the universe is going to give you exactly what you want. So don't compromise, okay? And especially if you're being pushed into it against your will, it, it's just not the right thing to do. So, I feel for a lot of you, um, you you understand that there's a lot of difficulties in getting this off the ground, and um, the whole process because it's so difficult that you know trying to work at simple things, trying to like plan a very very simple date, trying to trying to just you know go out and have a good time together, it proves to be difficult. You might not have very much in common. You're, you're just like, I feel like you might be very different from one another. So for a lot of you, you might be dating a fire sign. I'm sensing, you know, different energies and the wands energy is greatly, greatly indicative of fire. Um, I feel that the other person as well, it's a fire sign. So I feel like the other person might be rushing the relationship along. And, um, you know, they're, they're very, I, I feel like sexually driven and it is Valentine's day in February as well. So I feel like you might rush the, they might rush into the relationship and when you're not ready. So that's, uh, I, I feel something is being accelerated against your will and you really need to, you know, put your foot down. And for a lot of you too, there is potentially fire sign fire energy coming in and then out of your life just as quickly. So it's not a, a, a long, stable energy. And you really want to, you know, admit to yourself. I feel like admitting to yourself would be the right word. I feel that this is somebody who is pushing you against your will. And it's not good. And don't give your power away. Fight back. And I feel like they're kind of like blazing or just, you know, like tearing through your life in almost like a very reckless manner. So it's not good for you to let other people do that, okay? Because I feel like that's what's happening here. Could be potentially fire sign, Virgo. Um, I feel though that if it's a love relationship, it might be a fire sign who is pushing you, who is trying to accelerate the situation, who's like just blazing through your life and you know, they're in and then they're out and that's it and you never hear from them again. And I feel like you might be feeling a little bit depleted at the end of it. But I, I also feel like you're not emotionally invested to begin with so this is this too shall pass Pisces and I, I feel that by the end of the month you're going to see the situation for what it is and even like you know my warning here is you know what the situation is all about protect yourself and you know don't let that in because I feel like someone is is um someone is entering your life and they're leaving like a series of of uh battle wounds and carnage in their wake and then they just make this you know 
grandiose exit and then that's it and they're gone for good so you want to just be careful about that okay um, the air sign looks favorable if that's something that you're looking for I also feel that um, there's a lot of people I feel like there's a lot of major major energies and people in your life and I feel that for a lot of you you're dealing with people who are very self-serving who only want one thing and they don't really care how they affect your life so you really need to protect yourself okay I also feel that emotional balance is going to be required of you it's like of the utmost importance because I feel like you're getting communication from people a lot of people and it could be because you know it's your birthday month for those of you born at the beginning of um, February and as a result of it it's um, you know you should be happy but you you're feeling like emotionally destabilized so this could be a lot of self-serving people wanting a piece of your time wanting you but you know not uh, coming to see you making you come to see them so it's a very selfish energy and I feel that it's really important for you to draw boundaries okay once again Pisces boundaries um, identify who your true friends are and spend your time with them because I feel that a lot of you are not in a position where you can decline what I'm sensing is this you know someone is reaching out to you and you're telling yourself oh they're reaching out to me they must really want to be with me yes and no so you really want to screen it out and you really want to think about you know uh, words and action who has proven to you over and over again through action that they are actually uh, they want to be with you so that's something to keep in mind and I feel that this is the month in which you know those rose-colored glasses are coming off and you're starting to see the reality of the situation you're starting to see it's going to take you know from the last week of the month until possibly March you're starting to see how things are going to pan out but I do feel as well that um, it's not a great month for starting new things until the very last week it's also not a great month for travel and I feel that you want to conserve your energy and um, don't burn yourself out by you know meeting up too many people overextending yourself with obligations when it go comes to social functions I also feel that you need to surround yourself with very very strong-minded people and strong-minded is you know people who don't let other others around them sway them in any way they know what they're about they know what they believe in and they know you know they know what they know so you want to be surrounded by you want to be in the company of very strong-minded people who who know what they're about I feel like those would be very good qualities for you to have okay this is um somebody with very strong mental clarity and they can cut through the fog so if you're in a state of confusion and you're operating more from you know the the heart chakra and you're making decisions based on an emotional response to a situation either because you're feeling very dejected or you're feeling very elated um, consult a friend you know ask them oh I'm too um, immersed in this situation so I don't have objectivity do you mind giving me some advice based on your uh, objective expertise and this is you know in work and in business I feel for a lot of you there might have been a situation where you're mixing business with pleasure and that relationship is never a good thing and I feel like um, I feel like for a lot of you, you, you might have been, you know, mixing business with pleasure and the other person, so whoever it was that was in your life, possibly fire sign, possibly a Virgo, I feel like they came into your life and they courted you and your emotion. Sift through the um, fact and fiction is what I'm sensing. You really need to do that, okay? Take some time off for yourself as well. And I feel that by the last week of the month, you really need to take some time off I feel like there's some healing taking place and you need adequate time in order to heal up, okay?